Oh, hi. I made a couple of models, and uh, both of these models, the one sitting on the counter and this one in my hand, have four carbons, one, two, three, four in a row. I am not putting white spheres representing hydrogens off of here because it'll distract from this little topic. But the name of this is going to be butene. See, it's butane because there's four carbons, but it doesn't remain ane because it's not an alkane. There's a double bond here, so we call it butene. We do need to let people know that the uh, double bond occurs not after the first carbon, but after the second carbon. So the name of this is 2-butene. Here's a uh, representation up on the board. Here's the model overlapping it and the name 2-butene. Ah, but I did the same here. I also made 2-butene. There are four carbons in a row. Between carbon 2 and 3, there's a double bond, so it's 2-butene. Certainly, these two are different, as you can tell. So the deal on this is there is no free rotation about the pi system, the double bond. And the model shows that nicely. It's like, well, atoms aren't really spheres and bonds aren't really springs, but this model works out pretty good as an analogy because I'm not allowed to just freely rotate this. A single bond, I sure can. It's free to rotate, but I can't do that here. It gets locked up. And that's what we see uh, for our uh, actual molecules. There is no free rotation. So if the molecule exists as this, and we can call it a chair conformation, I'm sorry, this one is the boat. This is the boat conformation. Looks like a little paper boat that a child might make. It's not allowed to switch like this. And this one's the chair conformation. It looks like somebody could sit right there, put their legs out, so we call it the chair conformation. That would correspond to this model here. So these are not interchangeable. They're not allowed to switch. This model over here is not the same as this one. And so we give them different names. Since the carbon comes in on the top, and then this carbon leaves on the top, as though it's making a boat, these are called adjacent, or what we call cis. So I'm going to make a little note here. Cis is uh, C-I-S. And so again, these carbons are both coming in on the same side or adjacent, meaning they're both coming in on the top. So this is what we call the cis isomer of 2-butene. We can shorten that all up by calling it simply cis-2-butene. Now this conformation over here has uh, much different than the one on the right. Oh, it's not allowed to go ahead and do that, so they're not the same. This is our chair, as though somebody's sitting here. These are opposite. The carbon comes in on the top. The carbon leaves on the bottom. They're across from, and we have a term for that meaning trans. Transcontinental Railroad is to go across the continent. So this is the trans conformation. We can abbreviate that by simply writing trans to butene.